talked to him like we leave home. I said, I'm not going. <laughs> and uh, he said, what do you want to do? I said, well, I just like to go to business college somewhere in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. So he said, all right, we'll send you down there every day. I had to ride the bus to Charlotte back every day, oh, yeah, but I went to business to college for a year. <laughs> then I went to work for Olin and stayed there 44 years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that was a good company. That one. Was, when it was a women's college for four years? No, just no, it was two years in. Yeah, just 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 can't blame well, I did. I know one time I was dad was spending the night with our first grade, grade teacher because her other sister had gone somewhere. And she put me to bed early, and I looked over there, and daddy was closing up about 9 o'clock to go home from the post office in his big general store. And about it tore me up because I wasn't going to bed. <laughs> I just a type it. I didn't want to go off my when I was just oh, younger. Yes. Yes. So I could transfer. Of course, ever since then. Didn't you transfer? We've been on the run a lot. Well, we've traveled the whole United States and all of Canada. Wow. Every state. And uh, my brother, when he got to Alaska, he told him he had some heart problems and we didn't think he should. So. After he died, Margaret and I went to Alaska for two weeks. <laughs> but we covered all but a lot, and we didn't get there. Oh. Robert, you have to make it. Robert, I'm too old now. Robert's idea, he said, I have to drive to Top of Pike's Peak and cross the Golden Gate Bridge. And he did both. Oh. Long as the term he's going to do both, he did both. <laughs> Okay, well let's go, let's start back early, uh, growing up in Mount Warren. Talk about growing up in Mount Warren, the post office, and the general store, or in, in the house, the oldest post office in Iowa County. It is the oldest in Iowa County. It was started in 1804. But as far as the church, uh, who was our preacher when we started? Mr. Parker was our preacher. Mr. Parker, he came when I was nine months old. He baptized. Yeah. And he stayed there 30, how many years, 31? It probably tells him some of this stuff. Yeah, Our new building is called the Parker Building. Uh, but he he uh, was our minister then. I just remember when Pearl Harbor was bombed, uh, we were up at his house that afternoon, and he came out and told us he just heard it on the news. We were out there in, wow. in the yard, and he came out to tell us about it. His daughters were real good friends about it. Yeah. In fact, I was maid of honor and his youngest daughter's wedding. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was, yeah. <laughs> but he stayed there. He came from Virginia and he stayed there, well, I don't think 30 years, 31 years, something like that. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. 30, okay. Wow. Uh -huh. uh, going back to, to uh, Mount Moore, um, there, there was not a whole lot going on in Mount Moore when we were growing up, so there were just a few houses. Yeah. I can remember when the house next door to us was built, and the two houses, well, the one next, the next one up was already there. But the two above that, I can remember when they were built. Mm -hmm. Okay, now where was y'all's house? Right in the center of Mount Moore, right on the It's the, uh, as you come south of Mount Moore School, it's the only two-story on the left. And from there on down, it's nothing. Right <laughs> there, <laughs> the the corner down at the pet shop. But uh, okay. that's, we live in the house that we were born in. Well, I'll be talking about We still live in the house that we were born in. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't know. Uh, and that's, it's I've been remodeled, I don't know, many times, but we still live in it. <laughs> you already say it's still standing. That's it's still wrong. It's it's good. Bad. Bad. Nothing wrong with it. It had no bad. Yeah. And, uh, no heating system. We had we had wood stove, and then we had a coal stove, and then we we uh, got a natural gas furnace, which we use now. But yeah. we we were in a cold house, so you didn't heat the whole house. <laughs> we had a big stove in one room. Yeah. That's where you stayed. That's where you studied. Little little. 
Well, we just have uh, window air conditioners because we didn't put in a central air condition. We got the window in three different rooms, so we don't need it at the top. In the living room, and a bedroom on the south side of the hall. We had a hall in the room. Yeah. We changed all that. But my dad, we oh. bought that, took the hall out and made one big room on that side of the living room. And what used to be the living room, we made into a bedroom. Mm -hmm. And what used to be their bedroom, we made into a den. Mm -hmm. They used to do it as my dad had to live. My mother moved to a bedroom on either side. Mm -hmm. But they, they added the bedroom and the bed that the kids came along. So I have to tell you them. something uh, that we thought was wonderful. My brother, one of them was in the Navy and one was in the Army. And Jesse was uh, getting troops into Normandy Beach one day, and he looked up and he saw a duck go by that hauled ammunition in, had on it 458 amphibious. He said, "That's Robert's duck." That's that brother. <laughs> so uh, he went as soon as the troops got off of his boat. You know, he went up and asked his guy. I said, "Do you know Robert County?" He said, "I sure do. Hop on here." And he took him right up a hill, and there was Robert. And Jesse and Robert hadn't seen each other in two years. One in the Army, one in the Navy, and meet up on Normandy of all places. I told him that was a miracle. Robert was supposed to lose his That was a miracle. And they were chicken to death to see each other. They didn't need the ammunition the first day. It just amazed everybody. I think I mentioned that at Jesse's funeral, Robert, I forgot to mention. Everybody after church was coming around wondering how they ever met. I said, well, that's the way they met. That's the way they met. I know it. So they were both saved and got my home safe. So. That's wonderful. That's uh -huh. wonderful. Yeah. That was just to us was a thrill that they got to meet up on Normandy. Of all places. Of all places. Now I got to ask: Did y'all feel? Now did your your parents build that house? Well, my dad, his mother lived there. Uh huh. Okay. So I don't know just when it was built, but okay. that makes it well over a hundred years old. Uh, okay. But uh, he lived with his mother there, and then. Uh, okay. After he married my mama, they came in and they lived there like that to start having his kid and didn't have enough room, so he built an upstairs. Well, he built another room on the back side. Well, he built another room on the back side and then upstairs. Mm -hmm. Kids kind of do that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So it was your grandparents' home to begin with? Well, it was my grandmother's not up there, but I think my granddaddy died from the war. Uh, mm -hmm. We never didn't know much about him, too, because we didn't think about asking our daddy everything. And he I don't somebody. even know where my daddy went to high school. Oh, my I would think he, he went to Morris 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 somewhere. Oh, he might have gone somewhere around here, and uh -huh. uh, I just figured he went to Morrisville because he uh, had to have the education. He had to be freight agent and postmaster and everything. He'd got to have some education. Yeah, <laughs> and I never did ask him where he went to school. Huh. See, he's been dead 60 some years now, so wow. you, you just didn't any, think about asking him all that. Mm -hmm. Do you have any of his letters that show his handwriting? Or anything that he did? Uh, well, we have I got the books where he loved them and we where he let people have stuff and they never did pay him. He ran a store. And, you know, back then, some of the times were hard. And yeah. People were a lot. We got a book that thick. Mm -hmm. They yeah, things. And he'd he'd love, you know, he gave people, yeah. and they didn't really pay him back. <laughs> she wanted to write some letters. He said, no, we're not going to do that. He just let them open. He just, right. And Robert, my brother, is the same way. He went on a note somebody at the bank one time to help pay for their, well, you know, yeah. they were buying a house trailer. He had to finish paying for it. And I said, well, Robert, let me write her a note and tell her, you know, that you're expecting the money. He says, no, she knows it and the Lord knows it. And that's his way he put it. And he never did get the money. No. <laughs> I, I, he was just that type of person. Oh, Lord, oh, he'd, give Lord. Me, he'd give the clothes off his back if it was necessary. Oh, Lord. Was Robert was a wonderful boy. It certainly sounds like it. But so he moved that block in the church. Uh, that one it says, the sinner up on the side. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it used to be where the organ is. Oh. And when my 